I'm here with Bobby Lashley, who will face James the Colossus Thompson for a second time at Bellator. It just uh, got announced a couple of days ago, so just uh, give me your thoughts on that fight. It was, uh, you were supposed to meet him again two times already, two times he got strapped. Now, finally, you will meet up again. Uh, how do you feel? I feel great. I mean, I'm going into camp, I'm feeling healthier than ever, and um, all my fights that I've had so far with Bellator have just been getting better and better. And I want to show something new each fight, and he's the perfect opponent. I mean, we have kind of a love-hate relationship right now. Uh, I hate him, and he loves to talk trash, so that's what it is. And uh, I think this is just going to be a good fight. I think it's a good fight for the fans, but I think it's a good fight for both of us. He's a big heavyweight, and, and he has a win against me. If you look at the fight, you can make the determination, but um, he has a win against me, first, so there's something to come back on. You mentioned the first fight at Super Fight League a couple of years back. What went wrong uh, back then? He outpointed you on the scorecards. Give us a thought on that. Yeah, that's what it was. You know, that was one of the ones that I, I got called, you know, a little bit before. No excuses. I think I, I fought terribly. I didn't really train right for it. I didn't train at all for it. And um, I fought terribly, and he, and he came away with the victory. I don't think he got the victory. I mean, I went home. He went to the hospital and spent some time in the hospital. I broke his orbital bone, and I think that that's what's going to happen again. He's going to go out there. He's going to try to charge me. I'm going to spin him around. I'm going to put my hands on him, and we're going to battle. We're going to brawl. He's ready for it. He's down here in the United States training right now, so we're ready. We're going we're gonna to put together a good show. When you made a transition to MMA, it seemed like you needed a bit of time to get accustomed to the new uh, sport and, and the new uh, things around you. Now you're on a six-fight winning streak, look very impressive in your last couple of fights. Do you feel that you're finally arrived at the pro MMA scene, so to speak? Well, yeah, you know, MMA is one of those sports that you're constantly getting better. And when I first came on, it was like they thrusted me in the main spotlight. You know, some of the other guys that start out, they have 10 amateur fights before even having their first pro fight. My first pro fight was main event at the American Airlines Arena in Miami. So there was no time to, you know, practice and get into your groove of learning the, the nature of the business. I just had to, I got thrusted out there and had to start fighting. So I was in more protection mode as opposed to becoming a martial artist. And I think I took the time off, did some smaller shows and really started training. And I think that I'm a way better martial artist. The Bobby now would have just walked through the Bobby before. And I think every time I'm, I'm just going to get better. I'm going to get better and better and better. And I'm going to win that title for Bellator and really show them, you know, what I'm, what I'm capable of doing. You just said you, you took your time in the small shows and stuff like that. I mean, you came from the WWE just like Brock did, but he went right into the UFC. Do you feel if you had done the same that you wouldn't have succeeded that much, that you, that you needed the time to, you know, grow as an MMA fighter in, in the small leagues? No, no, I, 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 it's what I wanted to do as opposed to what I had to do. Brock, Brock came on a good path and, and he was able to do everything at, at the beginning with the UFC, but you got to take into consideration they threw a tremendous amount of money with him. So he had a camp built right at his house. He brought people in, his coaches and everything like that. So he prepared himself a little different, which good for him. I think he did a great job with what he had. And um, I mean, you can't take anything away from Brock. Brock was an amazing, he's an amazing athlete, amazing fighter. Um, he chose to go a different route now, but I, I think it's it's all circumstances where you were and where and you were, were and, and what I wanted to do. What I want to do is I want to I want to have longevity. I have a gym, and ultimately I want to be you know training all the art, martial arts and teaching people jujitsu, boxing, kickboxing, and everything like that. That's why I'm just keep getting better at all aspects of the sport. Now I just mentioned your six fight winning streak and. You stated a lot that you would like to fight for the for the heavyweight title at Bellator against Vitaly Minkov. Now, obviously, you have to fight against James Thompson coming up. Is this something that bothers you a little bit, that you still have to wait for a title opportunity? Or do you say, I mean, I want this rematch and I can wait for the belt? You know, I, one thing is we don't know where the, where the champ is. The champ hadn't fought in two years, so that's one thing. I don't know if he's going to give up the title or... or Or, or what, or if he's going to actually fight for it. I don't mind, I don't mind, because my contract, I have several fights on my contract. So whether it's now, whether it's four fights later, I'm just going to keep getting better, keep getting paid, which is the most important thing. I got kids. So, um, and, um, and when the title shot comes around, then I'll be ready for it. You uh, extended your contract with Bellator, obviously you're very happy there. Um, is this something where you see your future at? You just mentioned you want to go into training and maybe stop fighting someday uh, down the road. W what does the future hold for you? I mean, how long are you, will you continue to fight and, 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 and will you end your career at Bellator or, or maybe give it a shot at the UFC one day? 
Well, right now, I'm going I'm to try to fight as much as possible right now. I don't know when, when it's time to say when. I told my training partners, I'm not 21 years old anymore. So I told my training partners, when I start feeling like I'm a little bit older, you let me know so I can get out of this game. So I'm not one of those guys that are 40 and 50 years old, walking out of slow pace, getting beat up. And now I'm not like that. Right now, I feel great. I'm in extremely great shape. Um, nothing's hurting. I'm, 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 I'm blessed right now. So as long as I can keep going, I'm going to keep going. So if it's five fights, ten fights later with Bellator, I'm just going to keep doing as much as possible. As far as the UFC, man, Bellator takes real good care of me. So right now, I really have no reason to be leaving. All right, man. Thank you very much for taking the time. You said you have a love and hate relationship with uh, James Thompson. You hate him. He loves to talk trash. Uh, if you want, you can send him a message. <laughs> I have no message to send to him. James Thompson knows what this is about. He knows that all the all the smack talking and trash talking is going to be over. And we're going to go out there and fight. I mean, we're doing it for the fans. We have a grudge between ourselves, but we're going to squash that. We're going to go out there and fight, and we're going to put on a good show for the fans. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we just talked before the interview. You told me uh, you speak a few words German. Since we're from Germany, I say, Dankeschön, auf Wiedersehen. See you next time. Tschüss. <laughs>